Welcome back. Hey, chill. Yeah. Shook the door. Because I'm a beast. Uh, Should see what I do with giant games. <clears throat> we're, we're back in the contaminated What's dungeon. What's cracking, big dogs? There we go. Welcome back to the contaminated dungeon. Welcome yeah, back to the Faith nice, of Public Podcast. Uh, my name is Nicholas. That's Snacks. That's Animal. And we're here to uh, yell about our fantasy football league pretty much. We're in, we're in week seven right now. Yeah. We're in, our, our skin is fully in the game at this point. Yeah, this is things this are is heating up. Time. Things this are heating up. Time. Things are heating up. We're still very, very close within like the league is still very, very close. I feel it's like. wide open. Yeah. So it's Larry, Larry's three and three, and he's in fourth place. So he's in a playoff spot. Yeah, it's crazy. Ten team league, four teams get in, uh, and I'm in ninth place, but I'm two and four. So I'm literally like yeah. one game behind Larry. So you, I don't feel like I'm out of it. You you could easily win this week, and if the dominoes fall right, could be in like fifth or fourth. Yeah. Which is well, probably not, but. I don't, well, you lot, know what I'm I don't have a lot of points. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. It's a nice gesture. Thanks, Snacks. I'm in a good mood. Oh, you guys played. Was, la- you guys was, played last week. We did. I was pulling up the standings to see. Um... All right, can, can we get this out of the way? Joe's team is a machine. I've been saying this for weeks. It's 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 a machine. There's really no good. way he doesn't. Something catastrophic has to happen has to, for him not but, to win this. But isn't he this what no happens? His QB, oh, his QBs are well, really. Isn't weird. this what uh, happens? Starting David, yeah. Okay. Every know, fantasy football season, the team that like dominates all year ends up having like. That terrible week in the first round of the playoffs. He could tell you about that last year. But it happens so much. In but I'll tell football. you what's different about his team. Those teams are typically anchored by like a couple high end random skill players. His yeah. team has four. He's got four legitimate okay. RB ones. Henderson, Taylor, Najee, James Robinson. It's crazy. Those are top eight. Four top eight guys. Crazy. Yeah. Like I don't know how many backs I would take over Henderson. And he also point. has like CD Lamb and Antonio CD, Brown. And like, that's well, CD Lamb. No, no, CD Lamb. Terry when Fitz Terry, gets back. Yeah. CD Lamb. Wait. The and, and the kicker, Mark Andrews and Gronk at tight end. It, it, where do you stop that lineup? There's nothing. The quarterbacks are shit. He's got I mean, the, the scary part. Quarterbacks like, are the problem. Imagine Trey Lance was they kept let him kept the fucking job. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. He's got Matt Ryan, Big Ben, and but Trey fucking, Lance could be back for the playoffs. But he's also oh, he's we're a, fucked. Everyone's fucked. He's also in a position where. Even in a super flex, he could still feel confident about putting a running back or like a wide receiver in the super flex position and still feel okay. Sure. Like, well, yeah, which is crazy. You're, you're choosing between like a Davis Mills and like uh, Antonio Brown, maybe at that point. I mean, yeah, so I'm we'll, probably taking Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown might have the upside there. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, his team is an absolute juggernaut. At this point, we might all just be playing for second place. And no, not, I disagree. And I'm not also, place. speaking of second place, Snacks is currently in the second place position. And before we get into all the matches. After matchups, a big win. I do Huge wanna, win. Yeah, Huge. I want to talk a little bit about uh, how do you feel about your team. Uh, you know, Joe's not here to talk about his team, but you are here to talk I about am. your team. I think your team is slipping. You, um, From someone who's already at the bottom of the slippery path, I could see you coming You did down. say last week, uh, Friday's FTP Live, that my team was slipping, and I... You yeah. did. You put on a nice performance this week, but I think we're going to see it play itself out. I don't disagree, but I put myself in a good position where yeah, it was a big win. You got for some you, room. Sure. It was got some huge, more leverage. It was a, it was That's a, the beautiful thing honestly, about fantasy huge is like win. Yeah. any win you get, you're like that was huge. huge it gives win, me yeah. some leverage. It gives me some room. Well, it's so like, he, next loss. I don't want dumb. this to come off like cocky, but that was a bigger win for you than it was a bigger loss for me. Yes, I agree. I you absolutely know? agree. I had yes. the cushion. Yes. Now yes. I need to win. Now but, I, but, you know. And then now, like, it's like the tide is turned because I played George this week, which we'll get to in a second, yeah. which I could easily be five and two, yeah. which means I have a cushion for a Barkley return. Yeah. For I could I could wait out so, Russell Wilson coming back. So, obviously, with your team, your, your quarterbacks are kind of, uh, they're not really an issue. F- Derek Carr looks Derek great. Derek Carr is not an issue. Justin Fields Justin is. Justin Fields yeah. is very questionable. Yeah. And then, you know, Russell Wilson on the IR is not a good. Um, no, it's not. Does Fields not have a, a game place. of, like, more than 16 points yet? Has he put up a good game? he just had, like, his best game. And it was what 14. Was that? Yeah. Yeah. I saw a stat somewhere on Twitter today that like Allen Robin the Allen Robinson's game this week was the most like unrealized, un- uncatchable air yards of a single game this season yeah. so far. He yeah, had, like, it was like 180 unrealized so, air yards. So what, what what Jalen Hurts is doing with like the rushing and everything like that is what I thought uh Fields would do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. like he would just get me a floor of 20 points minimum. Yeah. But he's, it's just not happening yet. I think with more as the games go on, sure, maybe. I still think but your I team's pretty solid throughout. It's just, I... Uh, well, my my receivers and my tight ends are really good. Yes. Really good. Your running backs aren't bad. I mean, Aaron Jones is great. Miles Gaskin Here, here's is so the thing, though, like, up and down, though. Well, and yes, I think he's going to be thing. mostly down. So, so I, I checked in on Sunday morning, like, at, like, like 12 o'clock, just to look what Miles Gaskin did. He's, he had, like, one point. I'm like, oh, 
fuck. Yeah. So between Mike Evans and then Miles Gaskin, I had like four combined points. I'm like, okay, I'm not checking fantasy the rest of the day. Well, that's the that's the other thing is like but then Cooper Cup goes off. Your receivers then, though, Cooper Cup obviously is going to go off more often yeah. than not. He, he's wide receiver one rest of the year for sure. Yeah, yeah. but like uh, I don't know for sure. I would probably still take he's Adams there. over him, but I mean he's definitely close, in the conversation. Yeah. But like Evans is so inconsistent. Right. Keenan Allen has been wildly underperforming. Right. Julio's I, did Julio re-injure his hamstring? He did right in that game. Probably Julio he like wasn't practicing again. He's this not week. a Julio. He's not going to yes, be starting. He's Julio. not dependable. So I think like but I wasn't even playing him. He'll have so it's no. like. I, I just think Allen I just that. think that I think that's why because your strength of your team was your wide receivers yeah and I think like you have Cup so he's going to anchor everybody but yeah. I don't think the, like the the upside of what we thought you would have there is actually there I, and I couldn't agree more I do believe that Evans w- is not going to give me three point seven points a game moving forward I mm-hmm. he's going to be fine he, he as much as I think I hope at least you worried about Aaron Jones at all with how much work Dylan's getting? Hey, Dylan's getting a lot of work, but I, I, I'm not. I, yeah, it just I, feels I, like he's going to get it done regardless. Yeah, yeah. Right. it's like it's like one of those situations. Well, he's still a great touchdown. receiving back. He's yeah. still. You know, it's not like a lot of the times you have a running back and it's like, oh, this guy's starting to get a lot more work. But it's like it'll never get to the point where you're nervous about it being like a committee or that guy actually taking over. Yeah, the, the starting I, role. And I, I, I do not, I do not see it yet. And for sure, Dylan has absolutely taken a ton of carries, which he has. I mean, he's deserved. It. He's 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 ran well, but. I don't know. I, I was very excited to see Aaron Jones in the passing game this week and everything that he was doing. He, I, he did get 13 carries, 76 yards. It's very nice. Yeah. Granted, oh, not even granted. That's a that's a tough Chicago defense. So, you know, I, I, I like what I saw. You Bar- see Brady's interview today? Brady was getting interviewed by somebody. Oh, yeah. It's he was about talking Rogers. about, like, yeah. yeah, he was, like, uh, talking about, uh, I was watching film on, like, the Bears versus Packers game or whatever, and I'd like to, like, also just give a, Congratulations to Aaron Rodgers for uh, being a shareholder, being uh, being like an owner of the Chicago yeah. Bears. You know, yeah. I know he's like a shareholder in the the Milwaukee Bucks as yeah. well now. So it was pretty yeah. funny. That was good. I love that Brady's just going off now on it. Like he, him he and Rodgers just yeah, holds, holds so much he, leverage. Ima- that imagine being doesn't matter. F- imagine being forty four and still being the best at what you do. Yeah, he's killing it's it. Crazy. But uh, overall, before we get to your guys' matchups, my team. Yes, while I'm, I am worried. Saquon coming back is huge. I don't have to plug in Miles Gaskin as my RB two. Well, um, we're we're over your team. Well, I'm, I'm done with you. I was going to move on. <laughs> oh, to, you don't want to uh, talk about the matchup where you? Well, got, I'm going to go to the matchup right after this. I just want to get you got to piss cunted. I just want to get to the you guy. <laughs> I just want to get to the guy. It's my new least favorite word <laughs> in the dictionary <laughs> that is currently sitting in ninth place. And see what his Damn. mental state is. I'll tell you is. what, though. I'm, like, that my sounds... mental state is... I, I, I've been having a lot more fun this year. Like, that, game, that game against... Matt, do you guys... Have you guys realized that, like, all of my matchups always come down to, like, the craziest yes, Monday night I, I have noticed that, yeah. This was Awful. the first time in the last two Start years... Start filming yourself. Yeah, I should. This, this is really the first time fun. in the last two years that uh, it actually hasn't gone my way. All the other games have always, like... You remember that game you and me played off and you need, like, eight points from... From like Chris or Carson. Something. Oh, was, yeah. Oh, and then Joe like broke and his and hand. Like first yeah. play of the game, he gets flipped on his head or something. <laughs> yeah, he like broke his hand first play of the game. Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, but those usually end my way. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> this this one was a little crazy because I was going into the game with Cole Beasley and Steve had Josh Allen. But you were up what? I was like up 10. 10. I was 10. up 10. Okay. Yeah, I didn't feel good about it at all. Yeah, like, it's, 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 it's very sticky. And Cole yeah. Beasley had scored like Beasley two points the last three hope. weeks. That's right. the problem. That was fucked up on Cole Beasley's part. I had so many good memes in the chamber to fire off on Steve. Yeah. We had fucking <laughs> won it. But uh, the game kept going. I needed more like small catches from Beasley in order to like negate any of the points that Josh Allen had. But like every, Josh Allen was completing every pass. Yeah. And every time he wasn't completing a pass, he was just running for like four or eight yards and it was killing me. Got down to the last, you know, Beasley went off, obviously, put up like 18 and a half, but Josh Allen put up like 32. It, it came down to that last play. They were on the goal line, throws it to Beasley, and he gets tackled at like the half yard line. Yeah. Had he made that, I still think I would have lost. I yeah, think you said about like point seven, like point or six, but yeah. I still would have been like really yeah. excited at the time, been like, yeah, I yeah. fucking won or whatever. But the fact and if he scores that, Josh Allen could take a knee and lose your rushing yards. Like he could take it in, yeah, yeah. I didn't think of that until well, just, no, because oh, they scored a touchdown the next play. Goal. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, they scored a touchdown. Yeah, yeah. they kick the field. Like goal. I said, I didn't watch the game. So yeah. <laughs> thanks for coming to our talk. So, oh, um, yeah. So that was like the fact that they didn't even replay it really got me going. Yeah, I mean, he was which, short. It, which it's annoying that I had that much energy on like a midnight on a Monday night. Like I just want to go to bed. Yeah. And it took me like and two hours to wind after, down yeah. after that. You know? mean, and, and also, you you probably expect going into that, you're playing Josh Allen. You have Cole Beasley. You're 
probably thinking, okay, this is yeah. I mean, the amount of things that needed to win anyway. So close the amount of things that needed to break right. Like I had to watch so intensely. You start getting hope, you know? Yes, yeah, exactly. What if they fucking? What about like a you know jet sweep to Cole Beasley and he fucking runs twenty yards, which is not a passing touchdown. Yeah, that's two yards right or two points right there. It just makes such a huge. So you got to watch. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. it fucked my day up. Tragedy. Uh, All right, Steve, but, but I feel okay because one, George's team is so bad, and I so feel bad. like you're not coming in last. Right, like his team is, and, and like no. Dalvin Cook is back, and like he's full he looked great. So I have a good anchor great. for there. I just need a couple things. See, to the click, biggest right? thing I worry about with your team right now is their stability to be like, like you put them in the starting lineup looks great, and then like Joe Mixon gets a carry, and he's like ah my ankle, and like he gets you two points, and like uh, Joe, fucks Joe you Mixon that looks week. great. He looked great on Sunday. I have no faith yeah. that he's going to be consistent like that. This is what exactly. happened. Joe Mixon has done this to us fifty times in his yeah. five year career. And we, we, I think me, me and you, I, you probably were yeah, like off starting from a little bit. Freeman this but in the week, offseason, season, we were we, we, we love Joe Mixon. Okay, and he's yeah, been I, great. I have Joe Mixon in both of my season long leagues. I'm only in two redraft, um, and I have him in both of them. So that game was huge, but like. Uh, I just need some stability. I don't need stability out of my team. I just need, like, if you're going to be fucking hurt, get out of the game. Go on the IR. Yeah, yeah. Stop yeah. giving don't me limited start, practices yeah, and start, twisted yeah. ankles. Like, with yeah. Gibson right now, the shin fracture, put him on IR. That See, to me, that's your biggest problem with Gibson right now. Because yeah, Gibson's killing if you me. have that third running back, that, that literally that RB1, which Gibson obviously is and can be, is not out there. Yeah. Brutal. It's detrimental. And you know what else is like Chase was at least a ten to twelve point guy, and now he's completely back to his role last year. James yeah, yeah. Conner is now Kenyon Drake. Exactly. Yeah, 16, yeah. 18 yeah, carries. That's, that's another how, thing. Oh, good, good thing. How do you feel about Kenyon Drake? I know he had a, like a you know kind of a, I, I, a wild I, game against the Broncos, I but don't know. six touches. Yeah. yeah Jacob, not, I think Jacob's like still so clear. He, he made the most of his I mean, touches. I, absolutely. I have to start Kenyon Drake this week unless I pick someone else. Uh, up, so, so you wanted some positive. Uh, yeah, I was yeah, hoping not. that you'd be like, I'm actually kind of excited about. What makes you feel any better? I'm probably starting Devonta Freeman. By the way, I said I was gonna say you can't feel good about. I don't hate. I think it's a great start. I think it's a fucking phenomenal start. I picked him up everywhere. I could. He looked by far the best. He looked explosive. He looked good. Did you see Le'Veon Bell's touchdown? Was literally the slowest touchdown ever. He was on painkillers. No doubt. I've never seen an NFL player that wasn't a lineman move slow. Devontae Literally Freeman slow. actually looks good. So here's my thing with Freeman. Like, do you remember when the Giants uh, signed him yes, last year? Yes, and, and I, you I guys was excited. you good, yeah. And you guys asked me, like, what do you think? And I'm like, yeah. you're going to give him too many touches, he's going to break down. That's what yeah. happened within like a week yeah, or two. Of course. The Ravens offense, he's still kind of explosive. The Ravens won't give him 20 touches. If no. they give him 13 to 15 plus the goal line work, I think Huge. he's going to be good. Huge. He, he looked like a bat out of hell when he got the ball. He looked good, bro. He looked I very he good. good. My only concern is that they make Tyson Williams active and then give him 8 to 10 carries. I, mean, I, I just don't see, I don't see it Le'Veon, happening. They know what Le'Veon Bell happening. is. I don't think they're going to give him. They're not I don't gonna, see it happening. I think what they're doing is Freeman gets these, the Murray role. That's what I think, too. I think he's the RB1 in Baltimore. They're letting these old veteran running backs running backs break down before they th- bring in the young guns for the uh, yeah. end of the season. Whatever. Give like, me, listen, like, we're just going to ride Give me one Devante, good week of 17 Davis. carries from Devonta Freeman. I'm straight with that. Yeah, and you know he's going to get receiving work. He's, he's been a good receiving back. He, yeah. He, he so looked, listen, he like I'm good. throwing Devonta Freeman into multiple lineups this week, and I feel I feel fantastic about it. I feel it like kinda, I feel like it's 2016. Devonta yeah. Freeman, let's go. It kind of it, it's like it's like a weird thing because this week I don't know why the NFL scheduled it like this, the buys. but. The buys are brutal. Well, did you see my tweet from the Big Dogs account today? I, did I was like, not. Yeah, I was like, send uh, drop your screenshots oh, of your worst like a, starting yeah. lineup. This, there there this must week. have been plenty of. Oh, bad there's ones. like 75 yeah, screenshots there. Really bad. The Chargers, the Cowboys, the Bills. You Just have star-studded like, teams. Yeah. You have like four guys on each team that you're starting in lineups, and it's all on by this week. Yep. Crazy. I've never seen anything like it. It's so bad. Crazy. So the lineups, right, animal. lineups are a troll. I'm pretty sure, like in in the Go Fade Me Dynasty League, like Austin Hooper is starting like in my super. Which by, spot. Uh, Go Fade Me, I almost, I almost fucking stole a win from Stan. I stole a win this week. Crazy. I stole a win too. I thought Barkley, I had no business. Barkley's killing me. If Barkley play off. C Mac is killing me. Like, yeah, I know. I, I traded my whole team for C Mac like two years ago, and he hasn't played a fucking game. Yeah, it's it's terrible. terrible. So I don't know how I keep pulling out wins anywhere. Like my team is terrible. Wait, it, honestly, it's gonna be George versus Snap at the end of the day. So. Maybe, but we also said Scott was like shorthanded That's for, true. for two straight That's years. That's true. So. But Scott Scott also has to think, look at himself in the mirror. You know what's so funny? His team was like looking so strong coming into the year because he had the first six picks. Hey, and he went with like, and and like the, the quarterback group looked so good. And we're like, oh, fuck. Like he's going to be able to move them and trade them. And now they're all looking like terrible. Look, look terrible. Yeah. Nobody yeah. wants them. Yeah. Maybe I'll Crazy. offer a second round pick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and sexy pass too, by the way. I'm sorry. I want to get that. this off my chest. You get it off. 
What a fucking fraud. Yeah. Am I wrong? Yeah. He rebuilt since he re- the start. He rebuilt for two years. And yeah, from the start of the year. And he goes, oh, injuries, bust. Shut the fuck up, SP. You gave away two seasons to build your team, and you're two and four. So I don't want to fucking hear it, you Canadian dumb motherfucker. Am I wrong? No, oh, I agree. I think yeah. he's a big fraud. I like, how, a big I like how Pretty Richie's sitting there in third place. Pretty Richie? With, <laughs> with like, like the, the worst the team in the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with the worst team in the world. He probably was like, looking at that record. Just like, well, Kyle is yeah. killing it for him. So. Yeah, I mean. I'll never forget when he, that was such a sharp pick by him. It was. The only good pick he it made. was in the yeah. startup in the startup draft when Kyler was a rookie. Picked took, him early. It was like the third or fourth yeah. round yeah. Superflex startup, early. and everyone was like, "Whoa!" And I was like, "Shout out!" And to he's you. made like like four atrocious <laughs> trades after that, and yeah. he's somehow Dude, still. Yeah. Right That's there. why I was super Go. big on uh, my my double quarterback strategy because if you have the right ones, they get enough points where like as long <laughs> yeah. as the rest of your team you gotta isn't get just right completely ones. incompetent, you're most likely going to win your. Week. Did you guys right do any startup leagues this summer? No. No, I, still I was done after last year. I was done. So it was crazy thinking about how off. we thought that was crazy. Kyler Murray went like the fourth of that startup. Now, if you were taking like like uh, Trevor Lawrence was first round pick startups, Justin Fields and Trey Lance were both they were like picks fourteen through twenty. Like crazy. you were using your second round pick on those guys in the crazy. startups, and that was like felt you felt good. You felt like secure. Yeah. Like I'm getting yeah. my rookie quarterback. Yeah, I would take good those. About it. And you're yeah. taking Kyler. You said like like fourth overall. Um, yeah. Oh no no no. I was saying pretty Richie got him in the fourth round. Yeah. When oh no. We no. Started to go oh, fade okay, me. Okay, okay. And I was like, we looked at him like, whoa, that's risky shit. And now yeah. I'm like, you have to do that with the rookie quarterback. It's like quarterback. the great. It's yeah. like the greatest thing he, he's ever done. Yeah, if you can get like Kyler and Herbert back in back like round one and two or something like that, that's fucking. Yeah. yeah, no, Kyler goes like top. He yeah. was like top three. Go fit, go fade me or reset in about like two years, and then what do you mean reset? Well, because then people actually have picks instead oh, of Scott yeah, having no, all of them. No, people never have that. picks. Scott will always have. It'll all still picks. be fuckery. In the well, forever. he's in a dilemma though. He is because his his bench is like all guys that could be starting on yeah. other teams. He's gonna have to drop them. Well, he needs to trade. He needs to stop like. Going so in on the top quarterback talent and start training yeah. for guys like C Mac or like right like high like end just going he- yeah. yeah yeah all right anyways uh, anyways yeah so Steve beat me by yeah. by about three points I'm gonna be playing Joe this this week the top dog but some good news no he's good he's yeah you're good this week I'm not good let's not go that fucking yeah. far because I still have Cooks on a bye oh, I, fuck. Gibson's not gonna oh, play I didn't this even week think he's God, starting shit. Devonta Freeman most likely I mean, that's a huge dub I know, Wait, he's, got, like he's got he's got he's buys, got players yeah. on bye for sure but like that doesn't block up a dub for me by any stretch of the fucking imagination I have uh yeah Cook Marvin Jones Beasley Claypool Gibson probably out Jerry Judy still on whatever yeah my whole team's trash. But he's, <laughs> he's got James Robinson, Najee Harris, CeeDee Lamb on a bye. So I do have, like, something okay going on for me right now. And he has Davis Mills in a super flex. But it should, it should be a tight enough game where I can pull out a dub in this one. He's I mean, at full strength that I have no chance. Here's the thing. Like, I'm just looking at the matchup right now. And, like, he's, I mean, the I have, like, five more waiver moves. Ignore the me. projections, obviously. But, like, I'm just looking at Even if not looking at the projections, I don't see how you win this. Other than Tom Brady having 40 points. Yeah, no, you're right. 100%. Really? Like Tom Brady needs to score 40. I'm really rooting for you, Nick. Well, his team is just so much better than mine. I want to be that like, top oh, And the problem is, like, league. he has Antonio Brown, so you better hope he's not, like, yeah. 40 points like Antonio Brown, two touchdowns. And the problem is, this is probably... If they the go league. to Godwin, well, that's huge. Well, Gron- yeah. That, like, what about Mike Evans? That's going to be the huge difference. What about Mike Evans? Sure. Sure, but, like, uh, for him, like, the <laughs> sure. big thing in his matchup is going to be, I like how that's like, what we do now. It's like, sure, sure. sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's like, sure, sure. Like, between, like, the Godwin-Antonio Brown game is going to be huge between that matchup. The problem is, it's never a Godwin game. No, it's that's, not. That's why he's got a chance. Dude, like Antonio, 14, Antonio, I think we said it last week on Friday. Antonio Brown is clear cut the number one wide receiver. I think in so. Tampa. And he has Gronk yeah, too. He's so really if, good. So if Gronk he's comes back, he's going to throw Gronk into his flex spot, and then I'm double fucked. Chris Godwin's just like a 70 yard man now. It's like yeah, you just can get like seven for 70. It's like good game. It's like fuck no you. touchdowns. Fuck you. Good Look game. like a touchdown called back. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> and, then and, then throw, and then throw it to throw it to <laughs> yeah. Yeah, The story yeah, of yeah. my team is just getting touchdowns called back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah Godwin. Fun. He gets like 10 red zone targets and they all just like fly over his head. But next next play is like pinpoint. Fucking next gen stats pops up. Percentage of this chance being complete it was like one point two, but well, it was complete. But it was complete. Jamar Chase fell down like the one yard line on like or like the two yard line last game. Which so by bad. the way, Jamar Chase, whew, he's player. been great. So yeah, uh, Jamar Chase. Speaking of Jamar Chase, my team obviously. Uh, yeah, let's go right into that. Snacks uh, beat me last week. I started talking shit, and I I knew this was whenever I start talking shit, 
It's just like the universe is like, nah, no chance, animal. <laughs> shut your mouth. Don't, don't you fucking do that. We'll shut you up real I mean, quick. It, we, we were tight for a very long time. The four o'clocks really Dude, the projections go nuts. It's like at one point I was like 75% and then it goes to like 90% to you. Yeah. And then, and then all then of a sudden like. back to 80% to you. And, well, Sam Darnold yeah. uh, like scored like 10 yes, points in yes. the last like leaving, fucking three I minutes. Leave, I was leaving Giant Stadium and I was telling Justin, I'm like, fuck, Darnold just threw it to DJ Moore. Yeah. I'm fucked. And it was 70, I think it was 77% you. And then we come on, and then Derek Carr, the first play of the game, a, like, throws a touchdown. There was a point, yeah, I was, like, 88%. I was yeah. about to screenshot it and tweet, and I was like, nah, wait. And then, like, Derek Carr threw that touchdown. I was like, 47% chance. I was yeah. like, oh, no. Yeah. That fucking went down quick. And I, I, I do want to say one thing. I want to give myself credit because I never do, which is. Yeah, you made the switch for no fan, Jacoby Myers. Yes. And it paid off. Last back. second. It was literally last second. I'm I not going to say it was the difference maker. I did the math. I believe it it's was. It's not. Yes, I still would have won. by like three points. It would have yeah. been very close. Yeah. And that's considering the fact that, the, I mean, my team just underperformed all around. They from, did. Yeah, they, they did. From, uh, you it's know, true. Marquise like D- Brown. Like, DJ Moore had, had a game, but he, what, seven points? Uh, he dropped like a touchdown. He had like six. Yeah. He went five for 13. You, yeah. you worried had, like, at all about drops. Brown with uh, Bateman coming in? No, get I more, love it. I think more if targets. anything, it will open them up. That's like that's not a real answer. That's a great answer. <laughs> you can't you can't see what you can't see what Hollywood's done. He's gonna get his for same the first work. Six weeks and then say if anything, it's better. There's no going up. He's for gonna what get he did. the same work. Maybe his work. His I don't think his volume. Maybe got more change. targets than him. In I week think one. I would worry more week. about Mark Andrews' volume. Oh, I also down. I also want to go on record because I get shit on all the time. So do I. So I go on record all the time. Well, then too. Lamar Jackson is a quarterback. And he's really, really good. Let me guess. Until the next game when he throws three picks yeah. and then he's no, not a no. Anymore. He is a. I'm not saying so you like, do this. He's but this a big locks when he bets against the Ravens. It's like they're playing against a running back. Yeah. I was, I was wrong. I was wrong. He's a good fucking player and he's a good quarterback. Anyway, it's good. It really takes a man that. to come out after a 400 yard, four touchdown <laughs> yeah. passing game. To admit that. You know what? I, I finally I have decided <laughs> yeah. to change my mind. I can't wait for the first bad game he has on live television. And, and, uh, and no, then, it's game then on, he's not man. a quarterback yeah, anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Game on. Oh, for sure. Love that. All right. So, uh, oh, yeah, also, so we're going to be one. streaming. We're going to be uh, doing a live oh, yeah, stream yeah, yeah. next Thursday night. It's the Cardinals and the Packers. A lot we're, of fantasy players. We're going to be watching together. We're going to be. Wait, wait. Uh, what's what's our teams looking like there? Cardinals. Well, I have Packers. Jones. You have Aaron Jones. Yes. Uh, can you look at the matchups? Aaron Rodgers, next, dude. Look at the matchups next week. You have Rodgers. Yeah, See there you the, go. Oh, no, we already play. We all already played each we other. We already played. Yeah, yeah, I play so Steve, though, so maybe we get Steve to come. Okay. Oh, yeah, Steve. huge. I play uh, Steve. Who do I and, play? Uh, you play... No, I, I gotta Eric. be playing Eric. Eric? Yeah. Do I play Jason? You're Eric? playing Grit. Okay. Playing. Ooh. Doesn't this year, it, it's, is it weird? I feel like for some reason, maybe it's the fact that we switched to Sleeper, but it feels like everyone's team is the same team. Oh, like, I doubt, feel like yeah. I played everybody the same week. I, Does that make sense? You know what I'm it, talking it, about? hundred percent. Yes. There are nine teams where I literally look at, oh, maybe eight. Cause I, I truly, do I can't tell if I played Joseph's. Larry or, or, or Shane or Jason or what, like everyone's I think the same sli- to me. I, I also kind of regret the sleeper move. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like the sleeper platform. No. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. I, but I, I you know like legitimately the problem miss is Yahoo. The desktop is really bad. Yeah. And like it should be a lot cleaner for desktop. The desktop imagine. is miserable. Yeah. Because I wake up. I use I'll the app up, exclusively. I'll wake up Tuesday yeah. morning. I log on to work. Right and then I like. The first thing I always did was go to Yahoo Fantasy. See all my fantasy teams. But then I got to go to Sleeper. And their desk. It's just. It's I like brutal. I like Yahoo a lot. Brutal. Yeah. yeah. It was just a. You yeah, we fucked it after, you know. Yeah. But now, see, here's the thing. All my leagues are basically. I don't think we can now. go. I don't think. No, we, we can't. It's also back. like we can't do tight end premium. Like, obviously, I'm, I'm assuming we want to keep that. We have to. Right. Can't so you can't you do have that. To. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's whatever. Yeah. It, I do. I do miss way. it, though. I'm a little nostalgic about yeah, it. I, sure. Yeah. I know. It's like where we got yeah. started. It, it, it is. That's where I've been started. Yeah. Who's the first uh, yeah, but I ever used? Yeah. The first year I ever got. All right, so matchups, and then we'll uh, call. Yeah, it. so yeah, next Thursday it night, join us. We'll be together yeah, watching the game. Let's you go. We got we got fan, me and me and Adam. We got fantasy players going. All so shit. all right, so let's. Uh, I got Nick against Joe. We we kind of discussed that already, right? Yeah, I'm gonna lose. So it's a battle right? of bo- battle of the buys. Yeah, you're, you need to go, <laughs> battle you need of the buys. The Brady and the Godwin and the Antonio Brown situation. Snacks matchup against George. George currently the last place uh, team in the league and literally losing his four best players and his team is a little uh very iffy it's very iffy well let's not say it's it. very iffy like his team to sucks begin with. yeah 
It's very but the, this is read, the, out, read out his probable starting lineup this week. This is a 10-team league. I saw he, he updated it today. So it's not yeah. terrible, but it's not oh. great. Oh. Uh, Ryan Tannehill, and this is where it gets ugly. James Conner and Javonta Williams. Not okay, well, James Conner is going to have a big game against Houston. Houston, yeah, sure. it's actually a matchup nice. Uh, Tyler Lockett. No. Horrible, Gino. A.J. Brown. Okay. Never know. Evan Ingram. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you don't want that. Ingram can't catch a ball Sterling when Shepherd. five players are hurt. I don't know oh why he has so many. Two, well, oh God. Why, like, Just giants. get Ingram out the lineup and you're fine. Shepard's going to go off. Robbie Anderson. Shepard always does. He, yeah. He's going to get 12. Seconds. Robbie Anderson's still in his lineup. Love that. That's just like commitment to the team for George. Mac Jones. Mac Jones could have Mac a Jones decent game. Jets, yeah, is, is he could have a fine. decent game. Has Mac Jones ever had more than 20 fantasy points? No. I mean, but no. He's, he's probably going to have 18. Like, it, that's his floor. Yeah, he just had 16. It's not his floor. Uh, I'm sorry, ceiling. Yeah. I think he'll be all right, but still. And then um, he's got Cardinals defense is nice. He just has no upside on his team at all. No, right. None. That, that's and his zero best players are all on by. Yeah. Like Austin Eckler and Justin Herbert. Like he also has, yeah. he has, who's on the IR? Kittle. He has other Kittle players. on the IR, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, See, that's who I should be talking to about a trade. He's got Emmanuel Sanders got on by. You should talk to me. I'm open for Why does he have so many Giants players? He got Kadarius, Tony, Kenny Galladay, he has Sterling Shepard. He has the whole Giants receiving court. Yeah. What is he doing? I feel like he went into the draft not caring. I think he picked some of these guys up in free agency. Well, Tony he got. That was, I mean, sport. that was a super sharp pickup. He that was, was, he was, was, was great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But like, Pretty sure he's the one who picked up OBJ you have, when OBJ popped his rookie. Yeah, Tony, thing. you could probably drop Shepard or Galladay. No. Well, at this I, point, at the, yes. Like when you made the move originally. Yeah, that's tough. Like why? But like, how do you? But that's very difficult to draw Shepard, who gets like twelve why, targets a game, and then hold up three roster spots, an established so you can receiver. I would start. One I would Giants probably receiver. drop Kenny Galladay at this point. I would one hundred percent because he, he that needs options. Yeah, he needs Shepard for this week. Tony's clearly going to be the best fantasy option if right. he comes back. But wait on the injury news and then drop him if you need to. But like, there's Tony. He's nasty, dude. Yeah, he's he's fucking. He's nasty. Feels good. Yeah. Um. All right. So now uh, we now get to me. Run down my lineup. You didn't run down mine. Do we have to? Like yeah, gonna, I would like we don't to. have to go through the whole line. Like it's going to be on the screen. So yeah, I, I mean, screen. you got we went over. You got Derek Carr. You got Aaron Jones. Gaskin, questionable. <sighs> if you're going to start him, I don't know. Uh, Cooper Cup, Julio, only because of the bye this week, probably. Otherwise, you'd probably. I don't have think. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll Dude, I'm telling Jacoby you, I think Myers. Julio's out. I think well, I'll throw in Jacoby Myers for Julio, yeah. and then I probably have to pick a running back. So uh, Noah Fant's going to ball out, and uh, you got Jacoby Myers already in your lineup. Uh, Mike Evans, Justin Fields, and the Carolina defense currently. Not really anything on the bench, so that's the problem. You got all your guys on by. All my guys on by, yeah. Yeah, and, and Saquon just fucking being a Well, apparently he bust. might play this week, so. A bust. Well, we'll see. I wouldn't Damn, play him. dude. Some of the teams I'm 4-2, and two, my first-round pick is a bust. I'll take I it. I wouldn't play him. All right. I'll take it. My team. I'm playing uh, I'm playing Eric. This is a big week for me, because if I don't beat Eric, I'm going to have a problem. <laughs> I need to beat Eric. Where is Eric in the standings? He's two he's, and four, but his team is like very team, underperforming. Yeah, he's got he's got Mahomes and Lamar. He's got Mahomes and Lamar who can like just go off any week, and you yeah. can just have a very. He hard got a Kareem Hunt time. injury killed him. Ooh, yes, yeah, it's big. Yes, but he's got. Here's what I worry about with his team this week: DeAndre Hopkins versus Houston, the biggest revenge game of all time of the year. At least that's true. Yeah, he might go for thirty. I said three touchdowns. Yeah, he might go off. I just don't think the game script's going to be there for him to do it. But you, you know see, why? Because no, no, well, see, no. See, he's going to set the script. I'm with I'm I'm with Animal. I'm always in on revenge games. Love it, that. Set script, the script or not, and then, re- script or not, he wants to score. More well, often this than is, not, revenge games don't work well, out. Revenge <laughs> games are usually just like irony at this point. But he actually fucking hates. The That's why he I'm hates so Houston. Yeah. yeah, this is the one that I actually worry about. Uh, Odell is gonna get bodied versus Denver tomorrow night. Uh, he's gonna be out. I, I feel like he's gonna not yeah. get up. Yeah, he's gonna be out. Sure. All right, then he has Great to start Trey by the Giants. Like Mark Ingram. <laughs> That's not a, oh Devonta Smith. So that could that could backfire. But, Starting, um, wait, did you Monty say Mark Smith Ingram? Sucks. No, I'll start Devonta Smith. Oh. I didn't see him there. But, uh, yeah, so like Kyle Pitts, Jalen Waddle, like all these guys are like so unpredictable. You don't yeah. know. They could get 17, they could get fucking six, or they could get 27. Like, yeah. obviously, that's every player, but like. I don't know. I know what you mean. Like, all of them are super that, You can't like predict Jalen Waddle. That's, that's a very. Uh, Especially against That's Atlanta. a very stand up matchup. Well, he's going to be right playing there. with Deshaun Watson, so. True oh too. shit! Yeah, we didn't even talk about that. He's well, just going. He's, he's going. going everything yeah. I've seen from the last like hour or so is just like everything was false that came out. Yeah, today. it was just like there really? no trade like, talks at all. Yo, you guys bored? It was like Washington has had no contact. Well, McClain, with McC- the guy McLean from Houston apparently is like the most in the know. Johnny Mac, yeah, yeah, and he said it was going to be trash. So, yeah, well. no. 
All right, so regardless, I, though, but we don't even know his situation. Regardless, though, yeah. the legal part of it, like people are getting psyched up. Like, everyone in fantasy is going to go back out and pick up Deshaun Watson because he was yeah. dropped. But like, he's going to go to Miami. He's not going to play. No, I, well, year. that that's exactly what he's not playing the rest of the year. Even if he does, yeah, he's not he's playing out for this year. So unless Miami knows something about like the case is about to be settled and like, hey, like he'll be but eligible week he, like nine. Here's the yeah. thing. Here's the yeah. thing with that. There are legal people. Like it's not like Miami's franchise would know this before people that are in like the law system. Like, we would have, there would be some kind of break in that case in order that the public would know about. It could just be like yeah. they know, like, the lawyer that says, like, the, they're they're about to reach a settlement. Settlement wouldn't be, like, legal. So that's, like, like that, when, that's legal for like sure. Like, they wouldn't be, like, announcing it, like, if they, it didn't Five happen. I don't, feel, I don't feel like that. About, I don't like, feel like that information would go straight to the Miami Dolphins franchise. Dude, before everyone's no, got a fucking out. guy. No. Everyone's got a guy who knows a guy, and they fucking talk to the guy. Yeah, you know what my guy said? All oh, this is fucking bullshit. I'm just and telling he's you, not everyone's playing, got he's a, not going to Miami a, right now. These NFL well, teams, I'm, I'm, I'm they gonna, got rats. They got little moles in, L, in every system, and they know what's going on. I don't disagree with that. I, I'm actually on the animal side here. Of course you are. They, they, they're all, no, no. But we only have a five-minute warning before we have to get you out of here. So, Oh, yeah, fuck. Um, well, I wanted to say one that, thing. I have right, a well, question. Say quick, say quick. Question about uh, my team here. Uh, oh, yeah, shit. We didn't really get to your matchup. No, we did. We discussed Eric's team. Uh, I just wanted to know. I, I'm picking up a tight end. I'm not going to say who. Obviously, he's a guy I would plan on starting. You start. should trade for me for a tight end. I no, got two really good ones. I'm not going to do that. What I'm curious is. Missing out. Uh, Ricky Seal Jones. Uh, is he questionable? Goat. No, he's fine. Yeah. So, obviously, I'll, I'm starting him. But I might start two tight ends. But here's my, my problem. I did that last week and beat your ass. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> actually, yeah. I don't really have. I'm good. As, no, I was gonna, I'm going to keep Marquise Brown in my lineup. I'm not you taking him out. Yeah, for you sure. You have to. Yeah, against Cincinnati, it's a... It's you a, have uh, to. <laughs> Marquise Brown been a top 10 fantasy wide receiver. Yeah, he I'm goes on air and says, I'm well, even more excited about Bateman being there, and then he's thinking about benching Because him. of no, because I was considering oh benching God. Robert Woods, and then I was like, uh... Yeah, that's always a good fucking choice, probably. <laughs> yeah, it's but they're playing Detroit. It's literally oh. Cooper Cup always. Yeah. But they're playing Detroit. Yeah, I get that, but it, I, Hold I, on. I actually it would like. To, I, I might be way off on this. That's actually a good actually conversation. Keep, like, like Brown or Woods, if you have them in one starting spot, who do you take? That's what I'm saying. I'm what taking I, Brown. I'm, I'm taking, taking Brown, Brown too. So, yeah. so I'm saying, like, do I start? Well, I can't like bench Woods against Detroit, so that's why I'm not. Gonna yeah, yeah. Touch no, I, I, I got you. I got you. Leaving it be. Yep, I got you. Maybe I feel like. I don't know. I feel like. Uh, never mind. Actually, fuck that. I was going to say, uh, everyone's like, everyone's always talking about how, like, the Lions are a defense to just beat the fuck up out of. But I feel like a lot of their games have been, like, 17 13. Well, before, but also, I was looking at the offense. this past Sunday, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. I was looking, it was, like, Chicago and, like, teams like that. But, like, yeah, the yeah. Packers bad, and the Bengals, offense. anyone who has explosive yeah. offenses yeah. goes they off and, like, the Rams. Straight are, up, like, school yard wedging. Yeah, it was yeah. bad. That was bad. <laughs> they got, and you took them. Thinking, I took them plus your, three and a half. big lot. I thought, I thought, probably, I don't know. Who's their backup quarterback there? Is it PJ Walker? I have no idea. No, it's the Panthers. He's still in Carolina. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna have the number one pick. I don't. It, and this quarterback class is so bad. Yeah, Jared Goff might be on do. the market next year. I don't know what they're gonna do. He'll be benched soon. I feel like. For who? Dan can the, like, the head. The, the head coach literally went in front of the media and said. He said he's just got to step up. That's like that's that's tough love. It's like we're gonna coach. be making changes okay, around. I think they. I think coaches he's don't don't coaches don't say that. Well, because Dan Campbell's not your typical. Plus coach. He's Dude, Jericho's yes, like, I under I understand that, but they don't say that. He's averaging like three yards per attempt. No, he's not like you exactly. Could, he's not good. Very, just signed Todd Gurley and handed off. He's not to good. Him. Right. Only the is like a Monroe St. Brown. Like that's it. There's who else can you name? it? Uh, Khalif Raymond. Like who the fuck is he throwing uh, to? Go. They, they gotta go. They gotta go. Thank you guys for watching. Fed the public. We love you all. Check out Animal on Underdog 10 a.m. Sunday morning. Right. Yeah. Gives you out what? winners. Bagels and locks. What time? Uh, it depends on when Ike's done having sex. Yeah, I never know when. I never know when Bagel's locked. Ike has a lot. Ike, Ike has a lot of sex. Ike has so much sex. Check Nick's video tomorrow, which is this is Friday, so Saturday. Just shut yeah, up. Just yeah. go. I love you all. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye. Constantly. Bye. Hey, I tried. I tried. <laughs> hey, hey, hey.